Hey beloveds, thanks for tuning into Beanie TV where a few sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. Let's actually jump right into the video. So guys, I just want to let you know that whatever you are going through today, you are going to be okay. You have to understand that life really is a process and that every little thing that you are going through that's making you feel low, making you feel like shit, that is hurting you, that is hurting your feelings, that is keeping you in a depressive state, is only here to teach you. So just like Oprah always says, ask God, ask universe, ask spirit, what is this here to teach me? Get quiet and listen. What is this here to teach me? And whatever comes up is what you are needing to learn in that moment. Nothing is for nothing. No pain is for nothing. In Psalm 56, it says that the Lord has counted all of my sorrows. He has written each one down in his book. There is nothing that you are going through that God didn't know that you were going to go through. Your mind is the one that's behind. Spirit already knew that, okay, whatever you are going through is the exact situation that you need to be going through in order for you to level up. This is happening because you asked for something. You prayed for something. And in order for you to be able to keep that thing that you prayed for, you need to unleash. You need to let go. You need to transcend something that's holding you back something that's holding you back whether it's from your childhood whether it's from your your teen years whether it's from your early 20s whatever there is something that was holding you back and in order for you to get to where you want to go because spirit wants you to win sis god wants you to win god wants you to level up god wants you to be your best and have the best but you can't do that unless you go through the trials and tribulations and in order for you to be able to keep what you're praying for you have to go through what you're going through right now trust me when i say i tell you guys this all the time it was so dark for me for a long time after my grandma passed away i went into a deep depression i didn't know how to handle grief because we don't talk about grief we don't talk about grief we don't talk about how the mind completely changes once grief occurs and when I tell you guys like how happy I am today after about like what a year and a half of going through all the emotions, God wants you to be happy. But you guys, the things that I learned while going through that depressive state, while going through grief are lifelong lessons, undoing, getting the root out in order for me to be here today. So if I'm okay guys, and you guys can watch my other videos where I talk about in that one video where I'm talking about is it hard to live in LA where I'm talking about um, vulnerability. That was me at my lowest y'all, okay? That was me at my lowest. You can see it in my skin. My skin was breaking out. You can see it in just my energy just was not there. But I had to go through that. And when I look back, it was really hard, but it was like being a caterpillar in a cocoon, and now I'm like the butterfly. So you are a caterpillar in the cocoon, honey, and you're about to become the butterfly. You got this, I see you. I see you, I can feel you, I can feel you, you got this. You got this, I love you, I see you, you got this. Whatever you are going through right now, you are going to be okay. And beyond okay, you're gonna be blessed. You're gonna receive abund abundantly more, okay? Whatever you are going through, just keep the faith. Like my angels were telling me at really hard times when I was in LA, don't give up. Don't give up, keep going, keep pressing in. Keep going with your spiritual practice and practices and your self-care practices. You're doing really hard inner work and it's lonely because no one else is doing it with you. So remember to nurture yourself, take care of yourself, take those bubble baths. You guys see me on Instagram at least once or twice a week. I'm taking a bath, okay? Because that's how I nurture myself. That's how I take care of myself. And I'm actually gonna have a YouTube video coming out pretty soon about how I take my spiritual self-care bath. So be sure to check out, for, look out for that. But Eat foods that are gonna make you feel good. Like Ralph Smart always says, when you are feeling crappy, the first thing you wanna do is go for comfort food because that's just the way we're programmed. When instead, we need to be going for the green juice to uplift our, our first of all, because green foods and, and, and organic foods feel better to the body. So right now, what you wanna do is you want to be feeling better. So eat well, sleep well, 
take care of yourself don't put any pressure on yourself because you're doing a lot of really deep inner work and you have to be able to just like take care of yourself during this time i love you so much i see you you got this peace